Hello world. <laughs> um, Pickle Wheat here y'all from the History Channel series Swamp People and Serpent Invasion. Um, it's been about a week so let's catch up you guys. I figured I'd take y'all along on my packaging journey today. I got my it's not coffee in this cup right here. <laughs> um, and my little puppy dog is at my feet and I am sitting on a very thick cushion packaging some hats but first before i get into my packaging i click the live and now i'm kind of scattered oh so um a little update so last y'all kind of talked to me we were at we were in nashville at the nwtf banquet and i still have posts and stuff that i need to catch up on from there some excellent people that i met and it was just an amazing experience. Thank you guys so much for having us out. Once again, it was amazing. Cannot wait for next year. Secondly, my that was our first show this year. Our second show is going to be in Violet. It is actually Violet, Violet, Louisiana, in at Dockville. My mom, Mama Wheat, is doing a cook-off. She has an amazing recipe and there's not many people in the competition, which, you know, it's, it's, it's okay. And it's, it's fun, but I'm just, I just want to come on and invite you guys, whoever can come out to Dockville in Violet, um, this weekend, the 11th, I think it's 11 to three. She actually dipped her toe in the water y'all. And we are so proud of her because she has been cooking for years and, She's finally coming out of her show and she's, we're just proud of her for dipping her foot in and actually putting in for this little competition and she's doing it y'all. We're so proud. So if y'all can come and show some support and at Dockville, Louisiana and Violet, y'all come see me and Mama Wheat will be there and I can't tell y'all what she's cooking. It's a secret. So y'all just gonna have to come and try it. Also, there will be free samples going around from all of the competitors the contestants and um, free samples, not free meals, y'all. Y'all ain't getting a big old bowl of some stew or nothing like that. Um, free samples, good music, and yeah, what else? She told me something else. Hold on. I got a little, a little thing over here. Oh, free admission, y'all. It's it's completely free. I saw some, I saw something how much to get in or whatever but completely free admission good music free samples of food y'all come meet me and mama wheat she's finally dipping her toe in the water y'all everybody give her a round of applause we are so proud she's coming out of her little cooking shell and hopefully one of these days she can get off her booty and finish her cookbook because that would be amazing i need that the world needs that the world needs a mama wheat cookbook right y'all <laughs> good Lo oh, thank you. Thank you, guys. Everybody's, everybody's saying good luck, mama. Um, okay, so I am here. I'm sitting in my living room. My puppy is at my feet. I have my not coffee in this cup. Um, I'm hot. I am at the point in my pregnancy. We are 30 weeks today. So, yay! Um, that's exciting. Joshua just texted me. Sorry, I was reading some. Um, 30 weeks today, so that's exciting. We're hitting big milestones now. I am hot and I'm sweating a little bit, but I have to get these packages out. I'm gonna do some shout outs and plenty thank yous for everyone who previously ordered recently. I have some boxes sitting here. I got some that I'm stacking up behind me, but I wanted to come on and show you guys how really personal this is. And I really do do this all by myself and hold on not all by myself because Joshua and my mom help tremendously when it gets a little out of hand or when I am procrastinating entirely too much because I'm a professional procrastinator learned it best from my mama okay so I'm doing this myself right now Josh is at work um, but I'm going to take you guys along. And so y'all hang out with me for a second and we will talk and I'm going to show y'all how I get started. First of all, these are my, um, hat packaging. So I just order simple boxes and I love my stamps that I put on and my mom ordered me this stamp because she's been 
in her in the call business for a long time now and she knows the ins and outs of all of these companies this is so i had her order it for me this is my beautiful pickle wheat stamp i'm gonna show y'all how this works in a second but i have some pre-made boxes over here but i need a couple more so i'm gonna stamp <clears throat> excuse me let me get some not coffee um i'm gonna stamp these boxes right here and kind of show you guys a little bit of how i do this and how personal this really is and how much i appreciate each and every single order this is one order this is what i call the works so this person purchased a first edition olive pickle wheat hat with the hook and also my signature right here on the bill so awesome thank you so much i'm not sure who this is going to yet i have labels up here i'm sure this looks like a scattered mess to y'all but there's there's music in the madness okay so I'm gonna put that right there and uh we're gonna we're gonna stamp a little. Ooh, shouldn't make this before. Out of my way. Out of my way. So I take my big stamp, I get all my boxes lined up, and I have my huge ink pad that I'm gonna put right here. And so what I do is I roll. Oh y'all can't see what I'm doing. But, I mean, it's just, a, it's an ink stamp, you know, so, so I roll, and then, we, y'all heard that? Then we stamp, and it comes out so sweet and pretty. So, um, I'll do a couple of these, because I need a couple, and then I will get to the packages. So hey y'all, let's catch up a little bit. It is happy turkey season everybody. Y'all are killing some serious beautiful Osceolas down in Florida and I am a jelly jelly bean this season because I'm, and I, I'm just a nervous Nancy and I don't want to travel or go anywhere or do anything just in case something happens with the baby and I'm too far away from my doctor or my hospital. And so I would love to be shooting turkeys in Florida right now, but I'm being safe and staying home and not getting into anything too crazy. And that is so not like me. Y'all look, this baby's changing me already. My friend Carly Jo, Carly Jo Williams, y'all. Y'all go follow her. She's an amazing person. Um, she posted something the other day about... There's a lot of people in the outdoor industry that are like, oh, you know, when you have the baby, things are gonna change. And yes, I'm sure they do. But she posted something um, that really kind of hit home with me. It's not about that it's changing and oh, you're gonna have to stop doing the things that you normally do because you have a baby now. I just, maybe I'm being naive, but I just don't believe that that's gonna be the case. I think that having my little girl with me is going to make it that much more exciting and I get to show another little person my way of life and teach them how to live and learn what mushrooms not to eat and what animals we take for conservation and coyote trapping and all the things that we do to really conserve our habitats and stuff like that like how cool is that to be able to share that with a whole brand new little person you know I don't think it's going to take away from the things that I love to do I think if anything it will add to my enthusiasm and my excitement about the outdoors and just being out there and learning from it and if anything goes down with this country which you know y'all it, it's crazy out there um a country boy can survive you know what I'm saying so all right, that is done. I did want to say that Miss Carly Jo posted an, a little article about all of that, like how it adds to your life. It doesn't take away from what you're already used to doing. I really like that. Y'all go follow her. She's, she's awesome. Carly's amazing. Okay, so I will take a box. I have those stamped. I'll tape those probably after because the tape's really super loud. Um, 
And so what I do that I find is easy for me. Now, I can't show y'all these because these is people's information and address and stuff on it. But what I do, I write their order on the back. And this really helps me. I can sit on my computer. Yes, I have a laptop, but I don't. it has to be hooked to the computer. I print out all my labels and then I write the orders on the back. And so I can walk away and I can set up a little office wherever I want for the day. And I'm not stuck at my desk, which I absolutely love. Okay, so this person ordered a second edition, which is my plum hat. And it says the works on it. So I have to do this to every bill, y'all. It is habit. I'm sorry if y'all get y'all hats and y'all are like, oh my goodness, it's bent so much. It's just the way I wear them and it's such habit for me. This is how I do it. So I bend the bills. Really good. Um... So we got a second edition works. So I will put my hook and I have, yes, this is the side that I wear it on and the direction that I pointed in. And then um, they got a signature with it. Let me, so I'm not saying they, Miss Karen Bodner. Thank you so much. She wanted a pretty signature and a nice little hook. Thank you. So I'm gonna do this for Miss Karen. And I will sign this as pretty as I can. Looks good to me. And we have a one pickle wheat second edition. <sighs> the works. Going in the box, getting shipped out. So I like to not close these all the way yet because I will go back and triple double check everything before I actually ship out. So I'm just gonna kind of close this and I'm gonna put it on the side. We're gonna go. My cat just jumped on. Get up. Get up. Get up. My cat jumped on my sofa, y'all. They don't. They don't belong on a sofa. Um, okay, so that was one. So that's kind of how I do things. Oh, I made a, I made a mistake. Look, I'm di I'm distracted. Let's put this in a little trash pile. So I will. My stamp is on this side. Miss Karen's label is right here. I will stick this on the back and then go back, check it, make sure everything is correct with my computer and stuff, and tape it up, and we will ship it on out. So. That's kind of how I do things, y'all. I was going to run through everything, but it would honestly take me forever. So I have, these are for any newcomers, anybody just jumping on, or people who are new to my page, or is this the first y'all seeing of my content? I do have a website. It is pickleweet.com. I have first edition hats, which I keep saying first edition, second edition. These were the hats that I wore, the exact hat that I wore on the my first season of Swamp People on History. I have these available on my website. I have my second edition hats, second season. I wore this, not this exact one, but these exact hats on my second season. Third season, I wore these, but this is actually mine and I am out of stock of these so i don't even know why i'm showing y'all the that, this is my this was my third season hat and i love this one this one was honestly my favorite go figure it sold out um i need to order some more so sorry about that you guys but if y'all are looking for first and second editions on picklewheat.com would be greatly appreciated y'all go order you some if you are looking um i also have t-shirts and some hoodies left over from the winter season um, yeah, y'all go check it out. Pickleweek.com, everybody. Um, so it, it, oh, did I just knock the camera? I think I may have knocked the camera a little bit. So, um, it is early spring. If y'all caught my planting video, I took all of my plants out and my porches back to its beautiful spring self. And I'm really getting into the dirt the last couple of days which is probably why I haven't been jumping on here y'all I've been out in the yard and getting these nails really dirty um 
<laughs> ah, funny, Joshua. Joshua's funny. Um, <sighs> I'm sorry, y'all. He distracted me. I just realized that I, I put shrimp in his lunch and he doesn't like shrimp. I didn't even realize I did that, babe. If you're watching this, that was an accident. He, he thinks I'm mad at him, but really it's him that's mad. You know how that goes, y'all? It's kind of like, I'm sorry you feel this way, but we, we okay, y'all. We good. He's just, he's, he's, he's in one of his little moods, y'all. We'll just let him go. I can't, he's going to kill me for even talking about that. All right, so we have another. I'm blushing now, y'all. It's funny. So, um, Miss Christy Soiver. I feel so bad, y'all. I'm terrible with reading names. Christy Soiver ordered a second edition, The Works. So, I'm going to grab an empty box. We got The Works over here. So, already stamped. These were pre-stamped before. Um, same thing. I place my hook. I bend my bill. This one's kind of already bent a little. And I, where'd the label go? Right there. And I will sign for Miss Christy. Thank you so much, Miss Christy. Again, trying to get it pretty, y'all. My handwriting is terrible. But look how cute these are. I love the netted back hats because they cool. And I have a lot of hair. And so my hair is hot. And these are breathable. Love them. Um, okay, so I have that one. We'll put you in the box, Miss Christy. And stick on your label. Thank you so much, ma'am. Crumble that up. Put it in the trash. Put it in the trash. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. All right. We will halfway fold this up and put it over here by the already done ones. And let's move it along. Moving on up. Okay. So we have a first edition. The works for Miss Angela Wilson. Miss Angela Wilson. Thank you, Miss Angela. Oh, let's make sure that I have the right, okay, the right quantity. Wait. Yes, I do, okay. Oh, this was probably hers right here that I had sitting on the side. That label was separate, but anyway, I already have one made. So this is the first edition signed with the hook going in the box for Miss Angela Wilson. Thank you so much. Oh, did I just turn, I turned that the wrong way on, probably. Oh, all right, I'm getting hot, sweating. I need to turn the fan on. All right, y'all. Well, I just wanted to mm, come on and show you guys really how personal these boxes get delivered. I am going to finish this up really quick. I have some already packaged over here and these are like already checked and everything through the computer and stuff. These are going to go to the post office and whatever I can finish today before the post office closes will also be shipped out. If not, then tomorrow. So be waiting for your packages in the mail, guys. Let's see who else ordered. Let's do some shout outs and then I'll get on off of here. Miss Kimberly Franklin. We'll, I'll stack it back here. Miss Kimberly, Miss Kimberly Franklin. Thank you so much. Ordered a hat. All of these are hat orders, by the way, y'all. I have a whole, I have a separate stack over here for t-shirts and hoodies that I never got to yet. Melissa Moore. Thank you, Miss Melissa. Miles my Miles May. Thank you so much. Your hats are coming to you as soon as possible. They will be shipped today. Augustine Thorpe. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate y'all. Sherry Voorhees. That's a cool. That should, sorry, I shouldn't have flipped it. Sherry? Sherry Voorhees? Like Jason? Is that the right last name? 
the scary guy from like way back in the eights. Um, John Hedges. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All of my people, y'all. My people are amazing, okay? Y'all look great. Like, y'all just, y'all keep me busy. Jason Raz, Rasmussen? Rasmussen? Maybe? Y'all let me know if I'm saying these names right, y'all. Thank you so much, Mr. Jason. Very much appreciated. I hope y'all love all of y'all hats because, like I said, I really take it personally sitting here packaging everything and signing all of y'all hats. Greetings. Hey, everybody. I'm so sorry. I'm not ignoring the comments. It's just hard to see. I have y'all kind of a little far away. I'm doing like, does anybody know ASMR? I'm doing like ASMR things. Might drive some people crazy. Miss Diana Blank. Thank you. Your hat is coming to you today. Today, today. Some of y'all, y'all probably, y'all, it might have been a week and a half to two weeks since you ordered this and I'm so very sorry that I'm just getting it out today but I just want to show y'all how much I do appreciate it and mama has been super busy I want to order one. Oh, if you guys are just jumping on and y'all missed the beginning of it these are purchasable at picklewheat.com thank you miss Deborah Roy it's a kind of heavy box but it, you ordered a couple of them didn't you um, I have first edition hats, second edition hats. My third editions are sold out. I also have these Richardson hats for the guys. Some of the girls like to wear these, but this is the 112 Richardson's snapbacks. Um, forgot to mention these earlier. These are available on my website. Also t-shirts, um, alligators, and snake t-shirts that recently got put on my website. And I also have some alligator hoodies left over from the cold season. Um, so yes, again, picklewheat.com if you guys want to go and order some. Thank you very, very much. It will be hand packaged like I just showed everybody by me personally. So much appreciated, you guys. This is a fun little job that I like to do. <laughs> um, Rick. Corn, thank you so much for the hat order, Mr. Rick. Steady, they steady stacking, y'all. It's gonna kids hurt my back. Mark House, thank you so much for your hat order. Very much appreciated. And a couple more. Oop, I got one over there. Oh, I must have. Miles Mai. Wait, did you order one already? I feel like I had two boxes for you. Did I, I must have? I'll figure it out. I mean, they both can, they ship the same, but I could have put it all in the same box for you. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. And then I have these up here. Joseph LaRue. Thank you so much. Janet Wise. Janet Weiss. Y'all see, y'all see this, this big belly here. And one more. I have Steve Littlefield. Thank you so much. Oh, I missed one. Tuck that back in there. And I have my little puppy leg like, right in between my legs. So Jason Francis also already packaged and ready to go. Um, thank you guys. I know I said thank you like 800 times just now, but like, holy crap. And I'm not even to my t-shirts and hoodie orders yet. And y'all already got my legs going to sleep and I'm ready to get up. Um, but also, if you haven't heard your name and you did order, I have like a lot more labels right here that I'm currently getting to. Excuse me. My goodness. <laughs> Let me read some. Oh, now I can see. You're looking beautiful today. Thank you so much, Miss Rosie. What's up from North Carolina? That was supposed to say... You can... Aw. Love you. Thank you, guys. Alrighty, y'all. I am going to finish up my work today so I can get all of these orders out to the post office in a not-so-timely fashion. Sorry about that, you guys, but um, 
I have been super busy and they will get to y'all, I promise. Um, yeah, just wanted to come on and show you guys how I personally package everything and also talk about my mama's cook-off. Let me hit on that again before I jump off here. Thank you guys for staying tuned in and following along with me in all of my crazy talking and stamping and boxes and hooks and hats and all of this mess that is on my coffee table in my living room at the moment. And my shout outs for all my tribe members, all my people, I love y'all so much. Um, so what I was saying when I started the video, we, last time y'all saw me, we were in Nashville at the NWTF banquet. Awesome show, amazing people. Our next show is in Violet, Louisiana. My mom is in a cooking competition and we are so proud of her for finally getting off her butt and dipping her toe in the water and actually putting herself out there and getting in a small little down home competition. But we are very thrilled to be invited to this show and we will be there on the 11th from 11 to three o'clock. I think I'm, I'm think I'm saying that right. There will be free samples given out. Again, samples. Y'all not getting a whole free plate of food. It's like it's like little cup size samples um, of all of the competition food. All the cooks will be giving out the free samples. There is music and it's free to get in, y'all. Y'all come hang out. Y'all can come meet me and Mama Wheat and Joshua will be there. I'm pretty sure my dad and my brother will be there too. But it's it's always a, a family occasion. You know, we, we go everywhere together, y'all. And we, we try to we try to stay that way. You know, as, as much as we're kind of moving apart and drifting, we try to keep it together as a family because we absolutely love spending time with each other, especially doing shows and all of that like this. Um, y'all come out and see us in Violet, Louisiana at Dockville um, on the 11th this weekend from 11 to 3. Y'all come hear some music, get some free samples of my mama's cooking. It is absolutely delicious, I promise. She deserves the world and her cooking to be out there. Get off of my... Get... Meow. <laughs> um, but anyway, y'all, Thank you guys for staying tuned in. Um, I'll probably come on tomorrow and we'll talk some fun stuff for the girls about like the baby shower and all of that kind of cool stuff that's coming up. That is the weekend after the cook-off. So we'll be talking about that in the upcoming days too. Um, again, thank you guys for staying tuned in and spreading the love and showing all of y'all support. Look at this. This is crazy. Oh, I kind of missed yeah, this. There's more this way. My goodness. Um, yes. Thank y'all for following the grain. I love each and every one of y'all and all the comments. I will go back and read. Thank you guys so much. Y'all have a blessed day. And thank y'all for, what do we tell him, Muriel? He's been sheeping down here. Say thanks for following the grain. We love you guys. See y'all later. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.